Alright fellas, welcome back, and I'm back with a Halo 5 Team Doubles gameplay featuring again my boy Lemon. Introduce yourself, Lemon Grab. Hey, what's up guys? <laughs> what's up guys? Okay, here we are back with a Halo 5 dual commentary. And if you guys haven't watched my previous video, it is also featuring Lemon King because he is down to, at my house for New Year's with his Xbox One. So we thought, why he's here, we might as well take advantage of that and get his opinion on a few things and get him in the videos as well. So if you guys like this type of video, be sure to comment down below and also be, be sure to go check out my previous gameplay that is a discussion as well and a decent gameplay. So let's get straight into this. I've made a lot of videos in the past about how much I love Halo 5. So I thought what would be interesting and seeing as I got that I have Ryan here, which is aka Lemon Grab, we managed to do like a dual discussion about things that we are not a big fan of in Halo 5. And we are not hating on this game, we love Halo 5, we play our shit, ton of it, and we are beasts. But we thought, you know fellas, to be a fan of something, we have to be able to criticise it, right? So let's discuss a few ideas off the top of our head about things that we aren't too sure about or we don't really like in Halo 5 so I'll let Lemon Grab kick it off Okay guys, so what I've noticed in Halo 5 which I am not too fond of is uh, the structural in the maps and arena they are the same pretty much and except for all the props and everything that's obviously swapped up or oh, it's good to see it pause yeah, I pause the game because um, I'm using theater mode, so that's how you yeah, so that's how you can see um, where all the enemies are during the match. Uh, all good. Okay. Anyway, so um, yeah, like if you just like look around into the maps, you'll notice that it's the same structure, looks a bit different. Um, and yeah, I, I thought that was a little bit lazy of. Yeah. So um, do that. if you guys want an example, if you take the maps Truth and Regret. They are pretty similar maps, but they're being but they're two separate maps. If you get if you uh, um, if you get what I mean, and also fellas, even though um, a few of these maps oh get the assassination, a few of these maps in Halo 5 kind of look the same, and I agree with that, right? Like I agree with that a few of the maps do look the same, and it's a wee bit repetitive, kind of playing a similar looking maps over and over again. But I will say, and I think Ryan will agree with me on this. That each map plays differently like truth and regret which is the example I'm using are two maps that look kind of similar but they play completely differently do you think you'll agree with that Ryan oh yeah definitely. yeah yeah but yeah that's because there's like obviously they'll take out some large objects that you can hide behind and things like that yeah that make it just play differently yeah 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 so um I feel the maps do look the same and I would like them to uh, like have more kind of maps out individual and I just want to add fellas, we are getting free maps every month. So they are obviously going to add more maps. But the last map we got, um, oh man, what's it called? Overgrowth? Correct me if I'm wrong, um, I think it's Overgrowth. It looks kind of similar to the map, or at least a few areas of it look kind of similar to the map that you guys have seen in the background. They look kind of similar. And I, and I think fellas, I'm not 100% sure, but the reason why they're doing this is, is their creative, like, forge team are making these maps that are kind of all creative and have all, like, the different areas and stuff like that and then they're posting them out and that's all like that's all well and good they should be posting these maps as well but they should have more kind of indi like individual maps are their own and they play differently to other maps and they obviously feel different do you think you'll agree with that Ryan? Oh, yeah, that, yeah that should yeah yeah. Yeah. Sure, yeah yeah and also speaking of maps fellas there are those two maps that had if I've launched with Pegasus and Orion and I think a couple of them were also in the beta as well but they were like forged maps but they've actually been taken out of Halo 5 this happened like I think the first or, or second week Halo 5 came out because apparently there was a glitch that people were doing in the map and the, there's probably like a spot where you could shoot from and like not get shot back so they haven't added those maps back since but I hope that they do add them back because they were like a Team Slayer kind of playlist maps that you could play in so adding those back in would obviously make there be more maps and then obviously more variety and plus the free maps every month or probably at least a year we are getting content and that is sick fellas think of that free maps every month but that's a positive to do with Halo 5 we're talking about stuff we don't really enjoy so what's something else we could discuss Ryan? Um, I don't agree with um, what I'm about to say but I've heard that people will uh, go like rustic okay uh, yep kind of like what happened in the last warfare they don't yeah. like it but I, I do like it. Yep. Like, I, I think it makes the game more fast paced and action. You know? 
Oh shit, assassination. assassination. Yeah, um, but I'll agree with that, man. Yeah. Obviously, some people don't like it. Maybe they think it's a bit complicated. Yeah. I don't know, but. Yeah, that's a pretty touchy subject because there are quite a lot of people that don't like those movements. That they really don't think Halo 5 should have the should have those sort of movements in the game. And like, even including sprint, like no sprint, no Spartan abilities, no thrust, no side jump dash, whatever. But my kind of counter argument and discussion to that, but this is my opinion, is Halo 5, 343 have done the perfect job of maintaining in Halo 5 the classic Halo feel, and hear me out, and also keeping Halo kind of relevant to games that are coming out now. Like if Halo 5 launched and say it played exactly like Halo 3, I don't think fans would like that either, and fans of gaming these days, we like, no developer can do anything right. Everyone's so picky these days. Everyone wants the perfect game for them, but then there's hundreds of thousands of people that all have different opinions. And I think we might continue this video in, in a part two, because it's probably coming up to an end. So the thrust packs, I think, 343 added them in, because they need to keep Halo relevant. And in my opinion, the thrust packs are awesome. They're probably one of the best things I like about Halo 5. And I've played all the Halos. I've played one, two, three, four, Reach, and I love the thrust packs. But that is just my opinion. Pardon? ODST. ODST. Oh yes, ODST. Jeez, Halo Wars. almost forgot that. But fellas, the video is closing up, so we will continue this in a part three. Stay safe, stay tuned, and I will see you. Okay, fellas. So we are actually not continuing this on a part three. So what I did is I just ended that clip earlier, and seeing as um, I'm using Upload Studio, I just added in a brand new clip so we can d continue this discussion because I may as well make it in one whole video. So we were talking about the thrust packs and basically all the thrust movements in Halo 5. I like them. I think they really do suit Halo 5. And it keeps Halo relevant, and this Halo, in, in my opinion, and I'm pretty, this is pretty much kind of well known, it, it's the fastest playing Halo out of all of them. It's really like a game where you like rush, you're in there, and this is obviously an extremely competitive game. So I like the Thrust Packs. Now Ryan, what do you think, I think about Like I said before, I think it keeps the, um, the game fast paced, and yeah, I've, I don't know, I guess we're trying to go towards the negative sides, but I enjoy it. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I, th I think we need someone else like, like Paul to know yeah. why he doesn't like it. I think he didn't like it. Um, it I'll just um, explain to the subscribers and the, people who, and the people who are watching. Paul is a mate of ours we had around earlier on, and his opinion was he didn't like the thrust movement, so that's why we're kind of discussing that. Like, m me and Ryan both... Like, we, we like them, <laughs> no, we love the movements, okay, but um, there are a few people out there that obviously don't, so we thought we may as well discuss that and just give our opinions, but as always fellas, these are just our opinions, you know, so be sure to comment down below counter arguments and counter discussions that you guys have, and they could be featured in future videos, but I will end the video there, so we have discussed how maps, how we would like there to be more kind of maps are individual, and kind of not just kind of reimagined other maps and also how the thrust packs like me and Ryan like them but other people don't and we just talked about that how we kind of do like them and we think it kind of pushes Halo forward and it keeps Halo relevant with modern shooters but fellas as always thank you for watching I will let Ryan say a happy happy new year's fellas by the way Jesus Christ I can't believe I didn't mention that at the start of this video happy new year's to you all and thank you all for tuning in I will let Ryan say a bit if he wants to say bye yeah, okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let us know in the comments what you don't like about Halo 5. Yeah, man. And, yep. yeah, I guess we'll see you on the next Sweet as, we will see you fellas on the next one. And if Ryan's audio is, might sound a bit kind of up and down, it's just we're talking through the same headset. I know, Hori, right? But it's kind of the, <laughs> it, it's kind of the best way that we can kind of talk. Because I obviously don't have that computer set up yet. It is coming, fellas. It is coming. But not at the moment. But as always, fellas, thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay tuned. Be sure to comment down below. Have a great week. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Started off with some team doubles and flopped into some team arena. I'm not a fan of, of team arena, but I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay anyway. So as always, stay, thank you for watching. And I will see you fellas either on Halo 5, add me on Xbox Live, Zombie Bang 666. And I will see you fellas on the next one.